You can keep a great leader away from his people. You can imprison him. You can torture him. But you cannot break him. Let us join hands to ensure that as we enter the new millennium, the political rights that the 20th century has recognized and the independence that nations have gained shall be translated into peace, prosperity, and equity for all. The Berlin Wall comes down. Some call it the end of ideology. Others proclaim it as the end of history. But even though the drums of the Cold War retreat, new hegemonies emerge to threaten the world. And the West continues to use international institutions, military power and economic resources to run the world in ways that will maintain Western dominance, protect Western economic interests and promote Western political economic values. What type of security council we are perceiving? I've been demanding both in the UN and elsewhere, please define the criteria first. Who are entitled to get into the security council? In my country, we have one billion people. They have no place there. We Indians are reputed to have a third eye, and I have it. And whenever I go to a UN building, and I pass by the chamber of the Security Council, I, my third eye reads a signboard there. You can come in only if you have money or the bomb. Each day, each hour, the size and lethality of nuclear weapons increase. A nuclear aircraft carrier costs $4 billion, which is more than the GNP of 53 countries. The hood of the cobra is spread. Humankind watches in frozen fear, hoping against hope that it will not strike. Never before has our Earth faced so much death and danger. The destructive power contained in nuclear stockpiles can kill human life, indeed all life, many times over, and might well prevent its reappearance for ages to come. The non-aligned movement has persistently advocated the elimination of nuclear arms. It has resisted the possession of nuclear weapons by a group of a few privileged nations designed to perpetuate the status quo in the global power structure. NAM has been urging the UN to focus decisively in favor of development, so that it remains central to its mission. The full potential of South-South cooperation is yet to be realized. It can be promoted through the sharing of development experience, transfer of technology, and exploiting the latent synergies and complementarities between the NAM countries. The pressures applied by the strong countries on some of the um, small countries which have, uh, which owe them some obligation, make it difficult for them to cooperate with others who want to have a more independent stand. India's recent nuclear test took place in a geopolitical environment where our security was becoming even more threatened by the overt and covert nuclearization of our neighborhood. We do not, however, believe now any more than we ever did before that nuclear weapons are here to stay. On the contrary, if the established nuclear weapon states agree to negotiations to abolish nuclear weapons, we will be the first to join. Today, I urge them as India has urged them so many times before to join us in the non-aligned movement in negotiating a nuclear weapons convention through which we can eliminate this last category of weapons of mass destruction.